It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. The leaves are falling from the trees. We're definitely heading towards Christmas. So why not pay a bag of Asda's hand-cooked turkey and stuffing flavour crisps with a bottle of Cerveza Pacifico Clara Mexican Lager coming in at 4.5% ABV. Little bit of chalk and cheese for you guys today. I bet it's beautiful in Mexico right now. I bet the temperature's about 35 degrees. I bet it's terrific. Here's the bottle cap. So why not pair this kind of hot style lager to this cold style crisp? Ooh. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. As you would expect for a premium lager from, from Mexico, any kind of premium lager really, the clarity is always fantastic. It's got a three finger white head and there's loads of Russian carbonation. Light, pale, straw colored beer. Let's get the aroma. Quite sweet in the aroma. Mixed with a little bit of pepperiness. And a touch of lemon hop. Should we dive in? Cheers, everybody. Quite aggressive carbonation, really punches on your palate. But it's very clean, it's very drinkable, it's very refreshing. This is the point, this is the point I'm trying to make here, is, is, is that I could be all glum, the leaves are falling down, it's winter, it's cold, it's horrible. And then I'm drinking this lager, which really is the same thing, but not as horrible as I'm trying to make out yet. It's cold. It should be drunk in Mexico. It should be drunk in a hot country. If you went to Mexico and if you were just mowed the lawn and you're boiling hot and you want to refresh yourself, this would be perfect. The perfect companion to, to kind of refresh yourself on a boiling hot day. I couldn't imagine anything different, anything else. Would I want to be drinking a porter or a stout or an imperial stout on a hot sunny 35 degree day in Mexico? Probably not, no. You want something like this. It's always important to try and picture yourself in that very place where the beer is brewed. There's a reason why it's brewed. There's a reason why these beers are very popular in very hot countries. And to be honest, it's not the worst beer I've ever tasted. There's not a massive amount of flavor coming through. If you're looking for a massive amount of flavor, flavor go and look for a craft beer. This easy drinkable, I don't have a lawn, but let's picture it. It's 35 degrees out there. I got a bit of cleaning up to do or something. The, the, the amount of times you go out there and you, you, you start breaking a sweat, you start doing something, you're gonna be boiling up. You're gonna want a lager like this. Or maybe I've just set the barbecue up just over there like I do in the summer. Perfect barbecue beer. Very drinkable, very refreshing. How does it pair with the hand of crisp Mazda? Turkey and stuffing. 85 pence a bag, these. Incredible. Loads of seasoning on these crisps. Look at nice and green. What could that be? Sage powder, could be some thyme. Might be a touch of dark garlic. Mmm.
So all that time, all that sage was trying to replicate the, the stuffing bit. I'm just eating a few to try and get that kind of turkey flavour going on. The turkey flavour is quite light. It's a bit meaty, a bit chicken like. The, the, the secret is to dig down to the bottom of the bag and find one with loads of flavour on. That looks like a good place to start. Hey, there you go. Chicken, turkey. They're probably a rebranded chicken and thyme crisp from Asda, which is fine. It's their way of marketing Christmas, it's their way of advertising and selling Christmas, Christmas at Christmas time, there's no problem with that. You've just got to imagine yourself eating turkey and stuffing crisps. Very nice. Very nice. But I prefer the pigs in blankets, the, the ham and mustard, if you, if you like, crisps from, from Asda at this time of year. The Pigs in Blankets crisp for 85 pence had a lot more flavour. These are a lot more kind of stuffing, like the sage and the onion, the garlic. And a little bit of turkey flavour, a little bit of chicken flavour if you like. Goes well with the lager. Let's rate it. Actually, having a couple of sips of the lager after eating the crisps, it's all very... It's super drinkable. What I mean by super drinkable is that it's almost like a water consistency. There's no body to this beer whatsoever. But as I mentioned earlier, it's not really meant to be consumed on a rainy day in middle of November in the UK. The beer for me, if I'm being totally honest, Pacifico Cerveza Clara, I like it enough to give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from me, low craft beer. The crisps, 6 out of 10 also. 6 out of 10 for the crisps. Please put your comments in the comments box. If you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate it. It helps to grow the channel, helps to, mo helps to move us along. Comment, subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.